Okay, let's choose green. So we're going to look at uh, section 2.6, position and displacement vectors. So we already know what, a posi what position and displacement is. If we have some kind of reference frame here, that's actually an R, and your position is there, and we say, say, X1, right? That's your position relative to some reference frame. And um, then if you move, say you, you walk a distance, and then your position is X2, then, so those are your positions, then we know that our displacement is our change in position. Okay, so we already know that, but what we want to now do is we want to represent these as vectors. So the one is, we want to represent position as a vector and represent displacement as a vector. So we know that they're both vectors, but how do we represent them? Well, uh, we represent it like this, R is x i. So we've already seen that i is a unit vector that gives this magnitude a direction along the x-axis. Okay, so it says here a position vector lets us determine the position of a point in space relative to some chosen origin. Okay, so if I say to you I have a position vector equal to 10 meters i, then what we're saying is <coughs> From the origin, move 10 meters in the positive x direction. If I say to you, minus 7 meters i, then from the origin, you would move 7 meters in the negative x direction. Okay? So that's what a position vector does, is it, it essentially tells you how far to walk from the origin to a certain point minus 7 plus 7 and it gives you the position of that point relative to the origin okay so that's that's pretty straightforward of course later on we'll see that position vectors can be in any direction you can have a position vector in the in the y direction you can have a position vector 10 meters in the z direction and in any direction okay now, what is a displacement vector? A displacement vector is your change in your position vectors from, from one point to another, from one time to another. Okay? So, it's written like this, but you could obviously also write it like this. Delta R. That's delta R means change in position. Is R final minus R initial. So it is your final position vector minus your initial position vector. So let's look at an example here. So now that's your, and we'll just obviously look in the x-axis. If there's your origin, so there's zero, and say this is point A, and point A is, say, minus 9, right? That's the coordinate, is minus 9. And point B is 11. Okay, plus 11, that's B's coordinate. So what is position, let's ask first, what is position vector RA? Position vector RA is a vector from, pointed from O to A. This is RA. Okay, and it is minus 9i meters. So it is simply a vector telling me how to move from O to A. Or, where is A relative to O? A is minus 9i. It is negative 9 along the x-axis. What about RB? RB is similarly plus 11 meters i. Okay? Plus 11 meters i. So those are position vectors. Now, what would be my delta R, let's look at this. What is my displacement vector? B A. So what does this mean? It means my displacement from B to A. Well, it's R final. What is my final vector? It's R A. What's my initial vector? It's R B. 
So it's going to be minus 9i, all right, minus 9i, which is ra, minus plus 11i, which is rb. So by the way, that was my rb. So this equals minus 9 minus 11 is minus 20 meters i. Now what does this mean? What does this mean? Minus 20, rba means I'm moving from b to a. So I need a, so this is, that's that vector. R, delta r b a. So this shows me the direction is, so it's a negative i, okay, and the magnitude is 20. I'm moving from b to a, so the, the size is 20, I'm moving in the negative x direction. That is my displacement vector. What if I said delta, what is delta r a b? What is that? Well, we know we'll move from a to b, and so we would have plus 20 meters i. Okay, so let's, maybe I'm wondering if we should have a quick look at this example. Maybe we'll do this next example, uh, this example in the next video. Okay, so I hope that's clear guys, position vectors and displacement vectors.